Hello, storytellers. Welcome. It's my birthday. I am 36 today, and I am so excited to share this day with you. I want to share with you something that's been on my heart for a while, and that is our passion-fueled purpose. I don't know about you, but I've lived in seasons. I have lived in parts of my life where I feel adrift and tired and that word passion doesn't really describe me. And maybe some of you are there right now. And if you are, you are not alone and you're in the right spot tonight. And we're going to talk about what it means to not only have a passion fueled purpose, but what it looks like when times are tough. And I've been experiencing a lot of whiplashes, a lot of pivoting moments. And I know for sure that I'm not alone in that. And that's because I gather every week with a group of people in a safe spot here in Lexington and I share my heart with them and they pray for me and I get to pray for them and more importantly we put Jesus in the middle of whatever we are going through and I hope that when you come to this page that you get a glimpse of it and it'll only be a glimpse because of this little screen right here. <laughs> but it is my prayer that wherever you're at, that you can get into a community where you can come and feel safe and comfortable and loved, a place that puts Jesus at the center and you feel cared for and you get to share your story and you get to hear other people's stories. You get to be a great listener because that is where I have seen miracles happen. And that is why I started Love Sarah Kate. And I, I started it because, I don't know if you've received letters, but when I receive a letter, which I have recently, thank you for all the B-Day cards and all the birthday messages. It means so much to me. On a side note, my love language is words and it means so much to me to receive your words today thank you so very much the cards meant so much and so did all the messages i truly receive every single encouragement and we'll take it on in 2022 but as i receive letters i read those words and i soak them in and then the best part I see who it's from and my heart just it lights up because I go oh my gosh she cared for me or oh my gosh she noticed that or it's wow God confirmed that in me through this person or wow that was some hard truth and I'm so happy that they shared it with me maybe not in that moment but later on but I made this page because I wanted it to be a letter, a letter of encouragement and truth and hope and love and peace and Jesus at the center with love, Sarah Kate. And I hope to get to know you because getting to know each other is the only way we can really receive truth from each other. So I hope that you join our community, which I have a brand new group. It's just getting off the ground. We need more people to come in and be with us in it to truly make it a little glimpse. Remember, just a glimpse of community because as John says in 1 John, like, I'm not gonna write anymore because I can't wait to see you. I love that part. Well, that's how I want this community page to be. It's just a glimpse, like, I'm here to pray for you, and here's my story today, 
and maybe you're having trouble sharing your story with it could be parents or co-workers and this could be a safe spot for you to even practice that exchange with somebody that's what you will find on this private page and I will link that below if you feel that nudge to join that kind of community but on my birthday I'm sharing all the passions because this is what I feel called to right here is sharing moments of life life from being a mom to being a wife to being an office manager to even a jewelry business to just the day-to-day -day, <laughs> that is life and a few imaginative stories in between now a lot of this page has been seen as a lot of life experiences because I have so many I tend to share them here but I have this other side that I want to share more of in 2022 so here's my first goal you guys I'm going to share more of these imaginative stories that my kids have gotten to hear for years and they're all written in notebooks some are still in my mind but it's time to get more of them out because we can learn even through fun little characters we all have can you name already your your favorite show that you're thinking of that you grew up with those characters stick in your mind and the storylines still stick with you so I'm going to share some from my imagination including an adventurous unicorn and there is still a caterpillar a very smart one and there's still a smart snail that went to school with Hannah. I've got so many stories that I've shared with them at night. And I look forward to sharing with you on this page. So that's my first goal. So there, you heard it here. I'm going to share more imaginative stories on here. And number two, I want to help you share your story more I'm here to serve you and so I want to hear from you what is your top struggle when it comes to sharing your story and what when I say sharing your story it doesn't always have to mean the moment that you gave your life to Jesus it can be the moment that you're in with Jesus right now or one just a couple weeks ago what keeps you from sharing your story just let me know in the comments I think you'll find reading through these comments that you're not the only one struggling with those I know for me especially when I started sharing my story it was well what do I actually share and in James 1 5 it tells us we can ask God for wisdom and with that wisdom comes discernment and I think with sharing our stories we need even more discernment and I found that fruit has come from sometimes not saying anything at all and asking God for bigger ears and you may be thinking well that's not sharing but it really is when we sit with people across the table like you are with me I picturing you As we're seeing across the table from each other it's that presence that matters and that shares a lot more than sometimes our words do I know when I lost my mom it was more than the words people were telling me and grief is so different for each of us but I know for me it was the people who sat with me and wrap their arms around me that I remember the most and I loved all the words all the prayers and I receive every single one of them but sitting with someone can say just as much so asking for wisdom from James 1 5 is a huge one and that's been a game-changer in my life because I like to share it all 
I tend to not hold back. I want to just share and share and share. And that's a wonderful thing. And it can definitely not be a good thing at times. So that's a big one that I've learned over the years is discernment and what do I share and when. And that goes for this page too. I have things happening all the time, but I don't always share them here because they're not ready. It's not the right time. And that's the second point, which is trusting God's timing. Trust that God is going to use your story. He's going to use it. And it's up to us to trust him that he is using it. He is working it in the way that is the most perfect way possible. And sometimes that can be hard when we're in the middle of the struggle itself. But he is working. And my biggest example of that is with my kids. And it is amazing like how, how kids can teach us so much. Uh, when I had my, my first child 13 years ago, almost 14 now in May, woo, crazy. Almost 14 that it just taught me just more about Jesus because, wow, uh, in community, because I had to decide, like, do I share what's happening? All these, like, parent blunders and, you know, we have the whole Insta moms going, oh my gosh, you know, I do not make scrapbooks and... Uh, yeah, house is definitely a wreck, you know, and you start to kind of do the horrible comparison thing, and I began to realize after more years than I wish that those were just the highlight reels, and I just needed to talk to someone, and when I found the right person who was going through the same things that I was, it just opened up my heart and stuff just broke free and I felt freedom like I never had before and God used her in my life to be able to share these moments and I understood that I wasn't walking on a path that was my own I was walking on one that someone had already gone 10 steps ahead of me and I got to learn from her and her her life and her experiences and it means so much to me to have someone like that in my life. And I pray that if you don't have someone, know that I'll be honored to walk in life with you. Because we need those people. We need people to be able to go, yes, you know what, I hear you. And it's not just to have that advice. It's truly just about going, it's safe to talk here. And I want this space to be that for you because I found that in my life it was what started my whole entire journey journey period it was on May 6 2011 I found Jesus I understood that he wanted me because a group of women decided to be messy and tell me what was really going on and they had Jesus in the middle of it and that ignited something in me. Uh, once Jesus was became the leader of my life, he ignited the spark uh, that he had put inside of me and it just started to kindle. And I have seen over the last several years, especially what it looks like to have a passion fueled purpose. and. Our purposes will always be true to God's word. They don't they don't stray from that. Now they're all gonna look they look different. You know, like how I love sharing stories, you may not. My husband, he is incredible. Uh, he he can write incredible things and he has discernment and wisdom like no other. And he is an introvert. <laughs> 100% introverted and he has things he needs to share 
And so instead of being in front of the camera like I am, he is going behind it. And more on that soon. You're going to have to follow Rooted to find out more about that. But it looks different for each of us. And I think understanding that will free us all up. Like, it will always have Jesus at the center. His mission will always be your, what our purpose is. Just sharing His love. Sharing His story. The truth that our sins are forgiven. Completely, 100% paid for. My punishment, your punishment is paid for. For in the blood of Calvary that Jesus chose. And he had that plan a long time ago. And he has a plan for you. Such a beautiful plan. And I think we get hung up on this big mighty plan. And we forget to walk it out day to day. And that's another part of this passion fuel purpose. Is walking it out day to day today and that means there's going to be struggles that means that my laundry's piled up i'm really frustrated and it could be a million different things going on and and yet there's this purpose and i could choose to look for jesus in those moments or not <laughs> You know, and it gets more chaotic. And I can I can tell when I'm choosing Jesus and when there's this big barrier. And there's been some barrier moments of just going, nope. And the wounds get bigger. And hmm, I find out the hard way just how much I need my healer. And on my birthday, I wanted someone else to know just how wanted they are and how much of a purpose that you have. And that there is something that Jesus has ignited in you. And you can find that in prayer and you can find that walking on the street <laughs> because there is someone that is going to burden your heart there is a need that you just can't put away and I'm reading Mark now and I just started like I just began Mark and I'm, I'm so excited to start on this journey with Mark and find out more about him. I'm just learning about even who this John Mark is and we'll have more on that in the coming weeks. But just in the little part that I've read, it has reminded me so much of the compassion that Jesus has for us and the needs um, that he lays on our hearts that can ignite our purposes. That's what we're made for. We are made to serve others. No matter what, it's going to boil down to our willingness to serve. And passions aren't always joyful. I'm going to be real with you. It's a struggle sometimes to share right? I just talked about that earlier. But I know this is what I am made for. And there are some hard coming up. I know it. I already know it, but I'm already going to declare the fact that Jesus is in that hard. He is in the middle of it. He hasn't left me. He will not leave us. That's the best news ever. God is with us. He has walked every single hardship out and he is not going to leave us. And there's a time that we got to choose it. And I'm already going to declare it. Jesus is going to be in the middle of my heart because 
I got some mighty goals because God has some big things coming. 2022 is going to be a year of embracing imperfections and it's going to be a year of creativity and joy and learning what it's like to do life with each other again. And I am so excited that you have been here for my birthday and I hope that you've gotten a glimpse of this page and this vision that God has for it. And more importantly, I hope that you receive this. Let's just take a moment here. I want you to receive this wherever you're at. Take a moment. And before I say anything, I want you to say this to yourself or out loud. Go ahead and say it out loud. I receive this word. Before I say anything, go ahead and receive it. Take the moment right now and do that. I receive this word from God. You are wanted. You are loved. You are capable. And God is going to do exceedingly more abundantly things in you and through you. It says in Ephesians 3.20, more abundant, more amazing things than we can even ask for. You have a beautiful purpose, a beautiful purpose. You are so loved. You matter. And God has beautiful things for you. Do you receive that? And friends, if you're in the middle of a struggle, and that struggle can be daily grind, that struggle could be something really hard. We've all suffered loss, terrible losses over the last couple of years, especially. And that loss cannot only be people, but it's our time and loss of moments too. And those are things to grieve as well know that and know that in the middle of that struggle your purpose hasn't changed and your calling hasn't been forfeited and you still matter and just because it's hard it doesn't mean that God has let go it just means we need to acknowledge that he's here and that our failures aren't forever and our failures aren't who we are and the faster we get them to Jesus the faster he can get to working in us and we we'll feel this because he's the only one who can handle it <laughs> I love you guys so much and I look so forward to sharing more stories with you and more importantly I look forward to hearing more stories from you and I look so forward for more people joining the group which I'll share below and it's time for a little fun okay all right so I want hit me with some questions I want to hear from you what would you like to know about me I'm going to share some fun facts about myself because it's my birthday. So I was born in 1986, January 10th, 1986, and I am the baby of the family. I don't know if you could have guessed it or not. I, I wonder if some of you could. I am the baby of the family and I am adopted and I love that fact. That is a fact God has completely lovingly used in my life that I am 
adopted. Let me think some other fun facts here. Um, it took me forever to fly on a plane. My first trip was down to Florida, and I will never forget that trip. But I, it took me, I was like 29 maybe, it's been that long. My, it was my first flight. So I was scared to death of heights, and I was still scared of heights, but love planes now. Definitely want to fly some more. Let's see some other fun things. I used to play with bugs <laughs> when I was a kid. I used to have like bug circuses way before Bugs Life. I was playing with roly polies in my backyard. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Try to think of other fun things. Ask some questions below. I will reply to them. Uh, this should be interesting. <laughs> We're going to see what you guys come up with. Leave some questions below. What you like to know about me because, I, like I said before, we got to get to know each other. And this is a safe spot to do so. I love coffee. Huge coffee fan. I do love tea, but when asked, I definitely prefer coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Kind of like Lorelai Gilmore. Big Gilmore fan. You may have seen that in my previous birthday where I was uh, acting out one of a play that my husband and I did in our past. You're going to check that out. It's, it's on our YouTube channel. Pretty hilarious. <laughs> yes, Ask Away. I look forward to reading those. Be kind. <laughs> you guys, stories happen every single day. And I love uh, sharing my embarrassment as much as I love sharing, you know, these profound moments with you guys. Just so you know, I'm the type of person who will just wear two different socks outside the door. Yeah, and let's see what else. Oh, I used to be known for wearing sweatpants all day in middle school. Anyone else do this? So I didn't want to change in gym. Like I was like, no, that's going to waste my time because I was always a person who wanted to be like five minutes early. So yeah, there's that. See, now we're hitting middle school stuff. Like I'm just sharing it all, you know? <laughs> I used to do cheerleading. I was a big cheerleader. It is 100% a sport. Don't deny it. Cheerleaders unite. I did that. I am two on the Instagram. If anyone wants to go look what that means, I am a two. 100%. <laughs> Probably wing a three in there. <laughs> and... I want to end this evening my big birthday bash here with some fun upcoming stuff. So I said I was going to do some more imaginative stories. I'm going to give you a sneak peek of one. And this is the unicorn adventure. Here's a synopsis for you. A little overview of what this story is going to entail. I used to tell this story to Hannah, my daughter, to help her go to sleep. And the idea was I would repeat parts of it to help her go to sleep. Because as you know, like repeating it just kind of gets you in that mm, sleepy mode. So this unicorn is going on this huge adventure. She goes over the Rainbow Bridge. And she is heading to this huge island. And on this island, there are branches off of all these Rainbow Bridges. And she has to decide which one to take. So she goes to the left and she starts to go up and up this huge rainbow crossing yellow, green, red, blue, purple, yellow, green, blue, purple, red. And she gets down and she sees an immense forest. It seems way too dark. So she pedals it back. She goes, nope, too dark. That forest is not right. And so she turns to the right and she goes up the rainbow and down the rainbow, up the rainbow to a curve, oh, down the rainbow. And she sees a huge castle. Well, this seems very promising. So she goes into the castle. 
and she sees this humongous red fire breathing dragon. And at that moment, she wished she had taken the other path because if she had just kept going through that dark path, she would have found Candyland in just a little glimpse of this unicorn adventure and learning that you can't judge a book by its cover, right? You never know. Sometimes you gotta take those struggles because you never know where it's gonna end. And announcement time, right? I promised you an announcement, so here we go. This isn't like a like stick and stone announcement. Like, you know, it's not in cement yet. So this is a work in progress announcement, okay? You're going to work on it with me because I need to know if this is actually something you'd be interested in. With all my stories, I tend to be a storyteller who loves to tell the story. Like, I love to write and all, hence I love typing a whole, whole lot. But some of the stories that are on my heart, I tend to be able to just share it more easily when I'm just telling it to you. So to do that, I have been pondering for the last few years especially about the idea of doing a podcast. I said it out loud. Would you be interested in hearing life stories, imaginative stories in one spot on a podcast and an encouraging word just in those podcasts that you can share with your friends and be another way of sharing a letter in a podcast with you. So please let me know. Uh, put love your story in the comments if that would be something that you're interested in because this is something I am praying and going to take steps in what that actually looks like with your help because we are in this together and thank you so much for celebrating number 36 for, with me and it is going to be a great one have a wonderful night and keep sharing your story